Magazine, you know that? Yeah, we make it. Yeah, we make it. Yeah, we make it. A lot of stuff here. Huh? Yes. More than a Chinese magazine. Well, they don't care about old movies. Yeah. Only new movies. But foreigners, they like all old, old movies. What's the market been like now? You think? It's good. George, George, make George. No, no, me and Ricky. Who's Ricky? I'm a partner. Oh, that's your partner. Yeah. What's it been like, the market, anyway? Yeah, still people are asking for Kung Fu films. Yeah? Yeah, very strange. Right. Like South America. What about your new movies? They're selling good? Yeah, some of them. Depends on, uh, on uh, individual titles. Not every movie. But right. some of them, they're still selling. Will you make more Kung Fu or more action, or you're not going to make pictures now? Stuff for a while. <laughs> yeah? Unless uh, I find something, you know, something new. What's the overall um, in Hong Kong? What's it like now? The producers in Hong Kong now. Yeah, Mr. Lam is more active now. <laughs> yeah, he never stops. He never stops. <laughs> yeah. He's an exception. Yeah. And of all the movies you've had, which is the most successful one? Yeah, the one you, you liked, the Dragon, the Hero. Yeah. <laughs> you like that, you like that film, right? Yes. In the States, it's called the Dragon of Fire. That's right. And now they are, they are asking for uh, for the reissue, even for video. Yeah. A lot of those titles, Dragon Lee titles. Yeah. yeah they're also popular. Well, that's good. And you gave Godfrey Ho his first chance. Yeah. When was that? Oh, that was 1976. Yeah. Yeah. Which movie? You remember? I think he he first did uh, the Magnificent as a an assistant director, and then he went on with uh, the Dragon the Hero. Right. And so the first time he became a director, and there he goes. Wow! And the, the Magnificent must have made a lot of money for you. No, hmm? it was too expensive hmm. to make. Yeah. Maybe maybe something like uh, thirty percent on the uh, on the investment. But the Dragon Hero, even within the first two years, we make uh, maybe four four times of the cost. But the movie never show in Hong Kong. Or no, no. Taiwan. Taiwan, no. So where you, get, where you get the money? From? <laughs> 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 ah, that's very strange. Yeah. That's very strange. So your movies are already made for overseas. Kung Fu movies made for overseas, aren't they? <laughs> A lot of them, yes. And what gave you the idea then to do that? Even the Dragon Lee movies that we make so much money on, <laughs> yeah. they were never shown in Hong Kong, never shown in Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. What about in Korea? Because people thought they were Korean movies, but they're not, are they? They are made in Korea, but with uh, particip participation from uh, people from Hong Kong. But the, the, they weren't Korean negatives you bought then? You went no, there and you we shot? Went there. We went there. We, we supervise the production, but we use, use mostly uh, the Korean actors. That's true. Yeah. And what's your biggest terror market for this? For which? For we are in that kind of product. Oh, that kind of product? Almost everywhere. Yeah. They make so good, uh, like, uh, you know, territories like West Indies, you know, everywhere. Very big. States. We sold everything to the States. You know, we never have a Kung Fu that we cannot sell to the States. Tom Ward bought them all, didn't he? So it's safe. I mean, I've been all over the world. Your films are in every country. 
<laughs> you more than, you know more than me. You know where I have sold them, right? <laughs> but you must be proud of that, no? Or you don't care, you don't... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some of them, they are making good money for us and uh, making a lot of uh, you know people very excited about it. Uh, yeah. so that's good. We feel good. Yeah. Definitely. And um, how did you become into this business? Huh? How you become into this business? Oh, that's more than 20... 20 something years ago. Yeah? Yeah, that's 22 years ago. How? What happened? We started uh, screening room in Hong Kong and people come, you know, to screen their pictures in our screening room. And it's one of the most popular screening rooms in Hong Kong at that time. So we, we came to know a lot of people. Right. We, saw, we saw a lot of films. That's how uh, we started. And you were partners with Joseph Lai in that screening room? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, That's uh, 1972. Yeah. Wow. So how Are many you in Hong Kong at that time? No. No. Kung Fu John was. Kung Fu John. I remember him. Kung Fu John was he in Hong Kong at that time? No, yeah. maybe not. But huh? Bruce Lee was. Oh, Bruce Lee. Yeah. Yeah. That's the time. Uh, that's around the time when he died. Did you meet Bruce Lee? No. no. Never saw him. No. But he's uh, one of the greatest men in China. From from you know from his from Hong Kong, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the future for Hong Kong movies now? You think Kung Fu is going <laughs> to come back or what? No, it's going to finish. No. Kung Fu comes back, but in another form, not in the same old form. You know, it's action, but uh, not the kind of uh, uh, action that you see in the Kung Fu movies. I mean, the old and traditional. Do you Kung think movies. that can be made again? Yeah, sure. Because buyers, you, you tell me they request this. Yeah. But uh, only selected territories, not every territory. Like, tell me some territories. Like South America, still they want this kind of pictures. West Indies? West Indies, yes. Yeah. Oh. But it, they have to be very well, well made and, uh, and uh, large scale productions, not oh. the small scale films. If you could make any kind of movie, what movie would it be? Unlimited budget. <laughs> Maybe a marriage drama, an yeah. art film. An yeah, art film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow,